Thank so much, Mr. Palmer. Yeah. Nice. And you've heard, um, I'm here live with the CEO, the man behind the vision of Wazobia, Mr. Tunde Fashina. Welcome. Thank so you very much. Today is a big day for you Amen. and your business. Yes, I know sir. you have an, a first store off of Westheimer. Yes, sir. And now, what brought you to the southwestern, that's in West Houston. Yes. What brought you to the southwestern part of Houston and why did you think you have to go big? I know you're Texan, so right. Texans usually go big, right? Yeah. So, but why, why, why choose this location? Okay. Um, well, when we began looking for another location three years ago, um, the criteria for what we were looking for was we wanted to be to build a bigger store than the one that we have at the, at the point. We needed to make it more comfortable for customers to go in and out. Uh, and we needed a place that was central to the African populace. So that way it'll be easier for them to get to. And it was literally a stroke of luck uh, that we were driving around because and, and we saw the place was empty. We had driven around a few times, uh, uh, but at that point, this place was uh, occupied by uh, Melrose. So oh, yeah, that's true, Melrose. Is yeah. So we were looking around. We did not want to be in Bessonet. So we we're looking at either Beechnut or Bel Air. And it was one morning driving around. We we saw it. We're like, okay. This is a fantastic location. We know the area, uh, so we said this is this is great. We called the landlord, made a deal, and that was it. So how did you do it to get the mayor to support this vision? This is huge. This is a huge accomplishment for the African community in Houston. So how did you do it? It was it's when you have a great team that works with you. Anything is possible. We were spitballing, trying to find out what we were going to do. And it was one of them that said, why not see if the mayor will come? And uh, Linda, which is a very, very good friend of ours, uh, she offered to make the contact. We emailed them and we waited. And it was literally during a strategy meeting about a month later. In that meeting, the email came in that, He's going to be coming. Oh, shocked were we. But we were very grateful that he decided to come and see us. And he didn't even say nobody. He came himself. Amen to that. <laughs> uh, we describe it as an honor for us. Uh, one for which we are eternally grateful to the mayor and the city of Houston. And uh, it, it, it was it, it's just overwhelming. It's... It's a humbling moment for Bravo. us. What is the support like from the African community to your business? And I know you do give back a lot to yeah. the African community and even Houston as a, as a city. Well, right? put it this way. I mean, the support from the African community has been nothing short of miraculous. Uh, we went from a store that was half empty mm. to, to having no the biggest, <laughs> thank you, to having no space within the store. And then, through that store, building the biggest store of its kind in Houston. It really doesn't get any better than that. It can't get any better than uh, that. And so, we are immensely, immensely grateful to the African community. We hope to continue to service their needs and satisfy their wants. Um, we are here to make sure that they have a great experience every single time and we will do whatever we can to make sure that every customer leaves here with a smile on their face. Fantastic, and Afrocentric is here with you all the way. Amen and I'll that. tell you much, I spoke with some of your guys and um, I love the diversity and the cultural diversity, uh, ethnicity uh, diversity in your employee line, yeah. right? And, and that's something that, that's to write home about. Amen and I would just encourage you to keep doing great, keep doing us proud, we love what you do, and we love your people, we will support definitely. But I just hope soon you will come set up one on outside of town in Cyprus. Cyprus? Mm -hmm. Well, put it this way, anywhere that we're invited, we will at least have a look in. You are, I'm officially <laughs> and live inviting you to Cyprus now.